Hello folks, and welcome back to Age of Wonders 3. As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host. And last time, we discovered the enemy leader, or what our soon-to-be enemy leader, Edward Portsmouth. Uh, and I think I'm going to try to kill him next turn, or if I don't kill him, I'm gonna try and follow him. Figure out where he goes so we can keep keep pace with him with a couple of our different armies. And hopefully, when the time comes, he actually may not leave there, because he's on top of a castle that he probably intends to attack. This actually might work well for me. He's probably not going to try to leave. Uh, I do have another fire elemental being trained, uh, which I will probably position somewhere so that... Uh, we can try to surround him and keep him from being able to go anywhere. Because if I can basically surround him, he'll be trapped. And then it'll be quite simple to deal with him when we feel like doing so. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to immediately go ahead and end the turn here. We don't really have anything else to do right this second. First thing we need to do is we need to get... We need to get a troop positioned on the, his rear side, and then we need to get you positioned over here. And we need to summon this. Come on. Come on. We can do it. There we go. End of the undead scourge. Oh, what? What? You have done what? Shaka. You fucker. Damn it. Damn it. Did she get an army down here and wipe them out? I don't know that she did. The attack independence, that's somewhere else. I don't even know where that is. Oh, it's down there. Okay, you apparently, you might be stuck here now, because I don't know that you can really easily move from where we have you kind of pinned in here. Which is perfectly fine with me, and precisely what I want. I don't want you to be able to, uh... Okay, you need to build a couple troops. Before you really do anything else, you need to build a few troops, at least. Oh, good. Good. Oh, goody. Trolls are going to attack soon? Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that just fan-freaking-tastic? Uh, a spell that I do want to cast is mana cells on the fuel cells on the city. Because that will help the city grow up a little bit. Um, obviously it'll help them to build those and it'll help them grow faster, which will be very nice, very useful. Okay, you're building things that we want you to be building, so you're fine there. What do we want you to do now? Uh oh. Got a wild, wild kitten on the loose over here. Static sphere. That's friendly of it. See, I want. One thing which I apparently can't get. Maybe if I take Static Sphere, we can get it afterward? Those. And maybe not. I don't really know. Charged Army. Let's take that. And... Good shock protection. No shock protection. Yes. Strange, actually, but... Um, 
it can be like strength, you know. Build tactics researched, whatever. Control. This is bad. Because that is going to make things much more difficult for me to deal with. Sending me money. How bloody good for you. Only requires my orders. Oh, he moved? He moved. Shit, where the hell did I want face go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? That is not the, uh, the leader chick. Where, where did, uh, what's his face go? Oh, man. You find him. Where did he go? Where did that little bastard get off to? Seriously? The fuck is that? Right then. Uh. The fuck? Where the hell did he go? Okay, I call some bullshit right here. He couldn't have fucking gone anywhere. Where the hell did he go? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh huh. Okay. Where the hell did he go? I don't know where he could have gone. Unless he's still in this army and we just can't see him for some reason. Maybe he has water, the water hide thing on him himself so he doesn't, he's not visible if he's on a uh, city tile or a water tile. Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know where the hell he went. It's annoying that he apparently has vanished. Well, since you apparently can't go... You just stay over here so you can defend the city. Uh, since you apparently can't go into the underground now to do that, what I want you, wanted you to do, because... Fina Shaka somehow already did it. This one looks like it's not been explored. Where is this in relation to what we found already? Quite a ways off, actually. Quite a ways off. This right here really makes me mad, because I did not- I wanted to take that place. It would have been my first underground establishment. Now, I can't. Because of you. Deciding to take it from me. Or them a little annoying. It's your throne city, there it is. Okay, that'll be useful to know eventually. Okay. Wow. They had this city all the way down here, even that far back from their throne city. That is impressive. That is some impressive expansion that they did at the very, very beginning, very early on. All things considered. Where are you at? You're over here. Okay. Uh, holy storm. Huh. Well, I can't begin to lie. I'm, I'm more than a little, way more than a little pissed off that they uh, 
somehow or other manage to elude me. Where the hell that bastard went? Some straight up bullshit. Some straight up bullshit, I tell you. Serious. I've had this all along. I did. That's so close to my base all along, and I never did anything about it. Are you serious? Serious? Are you for serious right now? Are you for serious? Okay. Um. Uh. All right, build a fucking settler then. I guess. Really, rather not. But. I want the. Uh, I want all the different hearts if I can find them. I know he has a heart of the tropics, someplace. No idea where the hell it is, but it, he has it somewhere in his territory. Uh, and I, of course, have the heart of the volcano. We've just found uh, what the hell it was. Heart of Blight is right there. And so this will all fall into my territory once all these cities grow some. I'm hoping that will fall into this territory's influence eventually. Once it grows enough, it'll have to bit reach almost max level to hit it, but I'm hoping that it will. Given sufficient time. Unfortunately, in order to get this, I'm going to have to build something. And go over there and get that. Because right now. I don't have anything. It's obnoxious. We'll have to build the city, like, right here. So it'll take it over pretty quick, but it'll hopefully be able to grow enough to take some of these other interesting things into, uh, its, its domain. So at least hope- at least then, hopefully, we can get a city of some capability. So again, I forgot to start the timer, so I had to look real quick, make sure what the timer was, and I don't care. I'll go ahead and enter. That's great, that's fine, I don't give a shit. Same with you, don't care. We need to be building things of more import of more import than that. And build yourself a temple and an observatory and uh, to be honest, after that, I don't really give too much of a shit, but at least for that part of it. Edward has won a battle. <gasps> there he is. Found him. Found his slippery sack of crap. Get up there. I care what you smell. Up there and stick on his butt so he can't get up friggin' away. The other army go. Got the damn good question where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. You could try to take the castle of the Lich King with these guys, with the uh, cannons. It might be a pretty cool little fight. I don't think I'm gonna try that though. Let's try, uh, let's try this. We'll try this. Oh, fine. We'll let them run. We'll let them run, I guess. Rather not, but... Oh, come on, you cowards! Please run away. You all suck.
by the fire. Ooh, get over here, quick. Quick. Go self over here. Very tempted to try to just completely block this guy in. In fact, I think I'm gonna try. As much for amusement's sake as for any actual desire to trap him at this point. Yeah, as, simply as, as much out of... just for the hell of it, basically, as any actual desire to, uh... Crap it. Here, that will completely trap him, and he won't be able to move. He'll be stuck there until we so choose to allow him to leave. Which will be hilarious. Even if we don't fight him for a while, it'll be hilarious because he won't. He'll be stuck. Ball, you're painting the butt. Um, giving you overload actually might be pretty cool. Oh no, we want four aprons. So we definitely want four aprons. That gives a lot of fire resistance. That's a nice. That's a nice ability. Yeah. So give me that. It's a good ability. We like that ability. That ability is good. Uh, curse and damage. Energy drain. Ah, Ray's dead. There we go. We need that. End of combat. Oh. Hmm. Nevertheless, I'll take it, I guess. Not really what I wanted, but... Oh well. Um... War Anthem... Volcano is coming, which will be a problem eventually, but not just yet. I just love how the dungeon thing is basically Castle Grayskull from uh, He-Man. Kind of amusing. Not kind of, it's very amusing. No kind of about it. I would love to take that build that thing, but unfortunately there's zero chance that you'll be able to successfully take that building. Fortunately. I may wish otherwise. Say, so one would hope that he has all this area secured since it's under in his capitals 
territory. And that will let you move a little bit further. It does have another city up here. Ooh, that's, that's potentially bad, actually. Oh no, this is not... Oh. A cotton revenant. You're evil. Till then. On Titan. I think it's pretty cool. Projectile resistance. It's undead. Pretty neat. Kinda like it. Kinda cool looking. Uh. Okay. Well, we are as positioned as we're gonna get to be able to go to war with them when the time comes. Okay, end of turn. Give yourself immediately in position and stay put. He should now be trapped. It should not be possible for him now to escape. Apparently, my alignment changed to pure good. Don't know entirely when that happened or how that happened, but I'll take it. I suppose. Done some stuff. You've done some more stuff. You might be able to build more buildings. You can build an industrial plant. And then we want merchandise after that, probably, because I think. Industrial plant the max level? It might be. It's not the max, it's probably getting pretty close. Oh, be, 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 be. be quiet, Buzzbutt. You're, you're, you're a noisy pain in the butt sometimes. I love you, but you're a pain. Times you are a pain. Alright, um. All right, this is what we need to do. We need to send these guys down to here. Because. So Cross is an important city, I don't want them to lose it. And these trolls about to attack might have sufficient firepower to cause me some difficulty if we don't do something about it. So 20 support you at 20% cheaper, I don't care about that. Leader and all draconian heroes receive additional stuff. <sighs> Guess. I don't really care that much, but take it. Or anthem. It's fine, whatever. Troll King is coming soon. Oh, this is a strategic spell. Oh wait, 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 no. That's that's you know about that. I thought, it was I thought it was something else. I thought I was looking at something other than what I was looking at. I know full well what that is. I've seen it many a time before. Lava pool. Sounds like fun. We are pretty quickly clearing out, out. You actually might be close enough that you might threaten my ability to get this if I don't stop you from being able to grow into it. You're not one of their actual territories just yet, so they won't be influencing you to grow. 
independent cities are, will grow, but very, very slowly, so I'm not super concerned. But it is, nevertheless, a concern. Hey, I'm pretty sure he's straight up trapped now, so that's good. Precisely what I want. I don't want him to be able to go freaking anywhere. I want you to be stuck right where you're at there, friend. pushing in on my territory. That city is bigger than this one is. Luckily, at least for the time being, I haven't lost anything of any actual importance, but might if it uh, continues to happen. Definitely might if it continues to happen. Alright, uh... Fine. Whatever. More money is always good. Cool. Give me the settler. Uh, we probably need to wait with the settler, actually, for the time being, until this is over with. Uh, so I'm not gonna fiddle with it just yet. Harbors and human cities generate eh, cavalry. Hero has leveled up. How bloody good for him! Oh, gravity. Oh, right. Orange army. It's pretty nice. Any other things that provide uh, mobilize all enemy units in the battlefield for one turn. Not bad. Direct Dow Reflection's pretty cool. I'll take that. These water has been researched. We just have so much research capability that we're knocking stuff out faster than it can really, uh... Um... Do anything. Then we continue to explore the underground. Not that we really, really need to, but fight is working well. Go fuzzball. What are, you, what are you crying about? What do you want? Problem. Why do you cry so much? Hey, this city is right on the edge of the map, basically. before they can cause me any difficulty. Well, oh, there's two of them. That might actually be a problem. Fortunately, we really have nothing in the area to help you if we don't just straight do this, so... Here's hoping that he's able to do some sufficient damage to, uh, wipe them out. The uh, fortunate part is that these guys are all melee. All melee, so. Oh, that's cool. Look at that thing. It's 50. Oh, 
Plus, yeah, but I'm really far away, so. Look at you. You on their side? Where are you? A random baby spider at the start of each combat to assist the caster in the fight. Uh, as long as its owner has at least one unit on the battlefield, it is not a combat summon. Ooh, so it'll co it'll constantly summon new of ones of these. That's actually terrible. It's really terrible. Really bad. <laughs> Air machine. Break control. Um, let's see, what could we throw out here? I don't have any sort of AoE thing, do I? <clears throat> that doesn't wipe out the entire battlefield anyway. This is cool, but <clears throat> we don't want to do that kind of thing when uh, it'll hurt all of our guys. Same with the Mana Core. Hurts everybody. Not something we want to fiddle with. Smash you. Oh. Alright, let's see, let's see. This can potentially do more damage if you can, uh, gonna do 21 at most. This would have to move even closer. But it looks like it will do more damage, that will, so. Maybe it is, uh, more damaging. Quite a bit of strength, so bam. Alright, roll these guys up a little bit. Have them defend. We may take some pretty good damage here, but I'm actually okay with that. Now they can't flank him, at least. Yeah, this fucking spider baby thing is gonna be a problem. We keep sending these guys in, that's gonna be... it's gonna be a problem. Definitely gonna be a problem. You guys are gonna get wrecked here in a second, once we're able to, uh... ...do our, uh... Proper skill spells and stuff. The thing is, I don't think I need to worry about the uh, 
spiders too much and you kill you can actually kill their guys. I don't think I have to be that worried. Problem is you have to actually be able to kill them first, which might be a problem. So you can if you move out of the way. What all does this hit? It hit two of them? It does. Okay. I think we definitely want to do that. It'll hit two of their guys, and if we move him, then won't hurt anybody else. So, move you back to just one square. You can burninate everybody. Burninate everything. Oh, why are you able to shoot, but the other guy can't? That weird. Oh, I would love to hit you guys, but we need to hit the uh, two that are right in front of our faces first. And you're dead. Congratulations, you've all died. <coughs> and then as you guys charge toward us, you're gonna get you're not gonna be able to get quite in range and you're gonna be screwed. to move you if we put you right there you don't get hit by that unit not necessarily that big that bad of a thing though you only be, be hit by the one guy you might even be able to kill this dude possibly possibly Hundred units. Ooh, Berserk might actually be really good to cast on an enemy unit because they'll go crazy. Start trying to hurt their own people. Which might be useful. Alright, let's see. Um... Plus 10 damage until end of combat. Nice. I guess that's why, uh... might be useful, but, but, <clears throat> what I really want to do is kill, you know what, I have an idea, I, think I can almost guarantee this guy will die <clears throat> now without actually having to do anything, because you'll just wreck his face. Damn, he's still alive. Crap. Crap. Well, you do more damage than you take from this, so... It sucks for you to do this, but... I'll kill him, and then if we cast a spell... We could have you charge in and kill him too, I suppose. But that's not a bad idea. That puts you right there. That does put you in range of being attacked by the one guy. But. Whereas right now he'll just attack Garon. And Garon doesn't. don't give no shits. See, golems really need. Uh, golems really need to have some sort of ranged attack. If they had some sort of ranged attack, they would be so much better. So much better. 
as it stands, they're really not that great because of the lack of a ranged attack. We took them. Oh, but we already used that Juggernaut this turn. Crap. Hold on. Oh well, I guess. Oh good, just what we needed. Spider's right on our doorstep. Fortunately, I don't think they can move this turn. How's that working out for you? Answer, uh, that I can tell you what the answer will be in a second. Not well. That's, uh, that's what the answer will be. Not well. Okay, you can pretty much smash either of them without too much difficulty. Okay, you can blast the hell out of these guys. You're just gonna wreck them. Pretty easily you can wreck them. Crap. Oh yeah! Get wrecked! <laughs> Just everybody burns! Everybody burns! That just kills everybody. Almost. Not quite, actually. Kind of disappointed by the damage that does. Might be better off not doing that, actually. Um, this... could kill them. Maybe. If we move you up some, it'll almost certainly kill them, but... Although I suppose I can blast them with this and then have him roll up with his uh, one attack and it'll probably wreck all of them. I almost want to blast the uh, these guys though. Kill the damn spiders. Yeah, let's kill the spiders actually. Cause they're going to be a pain in the ass if they come over here and are free to attack me. So let's make sure that they're not free to attack me. Now you might die. Oh, you're definitely now. Critical. <laughs> oh yeah, you're screwed. You screwed. You're so screwed. <laughs> All right. Uh, move you there. You're not likely to kill anybody, actually. But, this guy could come up and easily kill another one of them. Now you could charge, and you and no, you wouldn't kill anybody either. Wouldn't really kill anybody with that either. Crap. Although the emulation might kill them. <laughs> That's how much damage the emulation does. Let's see him. Three per round. Okay. Oh, so not the big, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Ask for it. Always fun. And you'll definitely break, you'll definitely break one of these guys' faces. You're dead. Enjoy. Died. Died. That was fine. You'll come in at. And it would be too far away for me to care. Yeah, the problem is they got to attack the the uh, 
the juggernaut there quite a bit. Do quite a bit of damage to it. it is unfortunate. Torch these guys without getting hit by the uh, without hitting the uh, dude. Burn everything. Nuke the spider. I says nuke the spider. Possibly get wrecked. Damn it. Now I wonder if it'll spawn another unit. It'd be kind of bullshit if it does, actually, but I'm curious if it will or not. Because it really shouldn't? No, I don't think it did. But it's just the one that's already in the field now. You're dead, son. And you all got wrecked. Totally wrecked. That was two armies right there. It was quite a bit of troops. Quite a bit of troops. Now, I wonder... Where slash if it spawned any others anywhere that I might need to be concerned about. Oh, there is a bunch of them. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. That means I have to build a new, uh... uh what are those? Here's? No. Builders. Builders. Where are the builders? I'll build it right there. Alright, so build a new... do a new builder. We haven't had a builder in quite a while, actually. Sometimes since we've had a new one of those. Let's have to wait for them to come to me, though. I don't want to. I don't want you guys to go out of position to pursue them, because I don't want to risk them being able to do any real damage to the army while you're gone, or to the city while you're gone. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully you'll go attack somebody else. Go, uh, go, go, go murder somebody else. I don't care what you do, but just leave me alone. Don't come attack me. Don't attack me and we'll have to, I'm gonna have to destroy you. It's gonna go poorly for you, so don't bother. Alright, so what do we got? Last skill that we researched. Sir Karas. Doing merchandise. Oh, I don't even know where the guys that were across the river went. They vanished. Um, I don't really know where to send you. I guess we have to keep you in this area for the time being, because I don't know where or what their army is going to do. 
And if they happen to try to attack one of my cities, I need somebody in the area to retake it and or defend it. Depending on circumstances. City. In Samoa. In Naga place that was a independent city then that they got convinced to join them at some point. Okay, I think I know where all of their cities are, but I certainly know where a lot of them are at this point. Can we take this without? No, we can't. Sending you up there was a waste of time. In sending you up there was a waste of my time. Alright, let's see what, if anything, is out here in the water. Probably a whole hell of a lot of nothing. Most likely. To me, is the underground seem like it's easier or quicker to get around in than the uh, above world is. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is going to have to be the end of the episode, folks. Thank you for watching. I, of course, have been Falcon, your host. Uh, this has been Age of Wonders 3. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. I will see you all next time. I burned through a lot of mana recently. I quit that uh, battle, I guess, did chew up a fair bit of it. Um... Ooh. Well, I guess I could kill both of those. I don't have too much play of actual strength there. Yeah, with him pinned down and trapped there, we could easily wipe out all of his territories. And then kill him basically whenever we friggin' feel like it. Basically, and he wouldn't be able to do damn shit all about it. He wouldn't be able to do shit about it. Okay, well, I will see you all next time. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.